Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. And uh, what I have here is some high purity gold that's been refined multiple times. I sell this by the gram. I'll put a link in this uh, in the video description of this video for that. And we're going to measure out about one gram, 1.1 grams of high purity gold for this experiment. What we'll do is add a small quantity of sulfuric acid. This is Ruto Professional Drain Cleaner and the MSDS says it's 93% concentrated sulfuric acid. So I'm going to add just a small quantity here, maybe about uh, 50 milliliters, just enough to uh, cover the gold in the bottom of this beaker. I'm going to cover this up now, set it up here on our stir plate and turn on the stir bar. I'm adding some heat, start heating the mixture up. What I have here is 29% hydrogen peroxide from our local hydroponics store. And I'm going to measure out about uh, oh, 50 milliliters of 29% hydrogen peroxide. Before this gets real hot, what I'm going to do here is just add a few drops of this 29% hydrogen peroxide because I don't know how this is going to react. I've never done this experiment before and I don't know what's going to happen when we put this hydrogen peroxide in here. It's going to add a few drops and see what happens. It's been on here for about 10 minutes now. I've got 227 Fahrenheit, 108.6 Celsius. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of, uh, of the 29% hydrogen peroxide, maybe a half a milliliter, just one drop at a time. I don't know how this is gonna react. there I don't see the solution turning the characteristic yellow color that I normally see when I dissolve gold in aqua regia or with hydrochloric acid I'm curious as to whether we're putting gold in solution in our beaker but I can't use a regular filter paper uh, because the sulfuric acid show you here if you put sulfuric acid on a piece of filter paper, it immediately dissolves it. Well, that's something new. That's sulfuric acid on that filter paper. And it did not dissolve. Even though that piece of filter paper didn't dissolve, what I'm going to use to test the solution to see if we're putting gold in it is some glass microfiber filters I've cut in a piece off of one of them and I made some strips and we're gonna stick this down in there and do a stannous test before I do a, a stannous test on the solution in the beaker I'm gonna put a drop on a uh, piece of this filter paper and just do a uh, stannous test on just plain sulfuric just to see what happens I don't get any kind of reaction with just plain sulfuric acid. So now let's do the test with the solution that we've uh, in here that we've added some hydrogen peroxide. Let's just see if we're putting any gold in solution. It's 
kind of inconclusive. I don't see. Here we go. We're going to add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide in here. About a half a milliliter. Do it slow. This has been on heating now for about an hour. If I sound a little weird here, it's because I've got a face shield on. I don't know how this reaction is gonna, how it's gonna go. You see, we've got it at 100 C, 212 Fahrenheit. Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide here. I got a full charge here, three milliliters. I don't know how it's going to react, but I want the camera rolling when I do these additions just to see what's going to happen. Here you can see I've got the heat up to 224 Celsius, 435 Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to stick a little piece of that fiberglass uh, filter paper down in there and get a little sample on there. And we're going to test this with stannous chloride testing solution. And as you can see, the result is nil. And that is baffling to me because it looks like some of the gold has gone into solution. So uh, this is, I'm going to have to figure out a way to detect that gold in that solution. I've got about half of the 50 milliliter charge of 29% hydrogen peroxide added into the reaction. Now I'll just keep adding it until we get some kind of result from this reaction. I've got the entire 50 milliliter charge of 29% hydrogen peroxide in our reaction here. And uh, we don't have the characteristic yellow color of gold in solution. But unless my eyes deceive me, those pieces of gold look smaller than when I first started. It looks like we're putting gold in solution with hydrogen peroxide and hot sulfuric acid. We got about 440 degrees Fahrenheit, 226 Celsius. I've got another 50 milliliter charge of hydrogen peroxide. And what I'm gonna do is just keep adding this. And uh, let's see if we can get the rest of this gold to dissolve in our hot sulfuric acid and 29% hydrogen peroxide. I've got that full 50 milliliter charge of hydrogen peroxide in there now. And I don't see any yellow color. I poured out another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And I'm just going to keep adding this. To see if we can get the entire amount of gold that we had in here. 1.1 grams to dissolve completely. Alright, I've got just about that entire charge in. Took less than 5 minutes. The reaction of sulfuric acid with the hydrogen peroxide produces peroxy mono sulfuric acid and water. So as we're doing this, we're getting water in here that's going to dilute it a little bit. I'm going to reach in here and get a little on this piece of uh, fiberglass filter. 
and see if we can detect any gold in solution with some Stannis. I don't get any reaction. Let me turn the heat off. I think we're gone as far as we can here. I'll leave the stir bar on, let it stir, and we're gonna let this cool down and see exactly what it is that we have in this beaker. Let's try a, uh, a test to see if we can detect gold in our solution up there. This is a little bit of ferrous sulfate crystals in a spot plate. And what I'm gonna do is just add plain sulfuric acid to one of these cavities with the ferrous sulfate and see what happens. see we get some kind of a reaction there I'm gonna reach in here and get a little bit of our solution we're gonna do the same test now on this ferrous sulfate and see uh, what kind of reaction we get over here on this cavity This is turning brown. I don't know if that's a reaction from the gold in solution or not, based on the uh, just straight sulfuric acid with the ferrous sulfate. Not quite sure how to interpret that. Okay, this is just a plain old piece of filter paper. Put some of the solution from our beaker on there. Now add a drop of stannous chloride. And I don't really see much of a reaction there either. Before I go any further with this, I've had this uh, encorded gold on boiling and dilute nitrate now all day long, about five hours. And I just wanted to show you someone had asked about uh, how did gold get in solution with just nitric? And I'm going to do a Stannis test here to show you that hot boiling nitric will put gold into solution. It's just slightly soluble in hot boiling nitric acid. So I'm just going to let this cool off now and we'll go from here and figure out what we're going to do. I've allowed everything to cool off. We're going to dip a piece of filter paper in here, get another quick Stannis test. And I really don't see any kind of reaction at all. The volume of gold that I originally started out with has shrunk. So I guess the only valid way to see if we put anything in solution in here is to uh, weigh the gold that's in here and see what we got left. I'm just going to pick them out with a pair of tweezers and we'll throw them on this scale and see if we've got less than we started with. These are chunks of gold. It looks like, well, I can see right there. There's 1.1 grams of gold right there. 1.2 we started with 1.1 grams what this means is that the uh, sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide did not put any of the gold in solution I uh, should have realized this from a previous video that I did when I tried to dissolve some metal with piranha solution it doesn't work uh, this is the proof uh, so this is a fail but what we can do is this is some six times refined gold from a previous video. I'm selling this by the gram. And what we'll do is offer this for sale on my eBay site. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. 
Okay. Uh, what's happened here, I believe, is the uh, heat and the action of the stir bar just caused the gold to coalesce into uh, solid pieces. And the volume reduced from the powder state that it was in when we first started. And it gave the appearance that the gold was going into solution when in fact it was not. So this experiment was a bust. I'll offer some of that gold for sale on my eBay site. This will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.